we have a 1922 Fordson tractor. She's been sitting for about 80 years. She was used for yard art for at least 40 years. She's missing the buzz cools. We're gonna bypass them and do something different if we can. As you can see, she still has parts of the buzz coil in there. Literally, they just rotted away in there. There's the center to it. There's the copper wire that goes around it. Well, there's only one buzz coil in there. One piece to one. And a whole bunch of other nails and other things like that that we're never gonna use. The motor is locked up, I'm almost sure of. There's your little shifter right there. Steering wheel's broke, steering's locked up. She didn't want to come off the trailer. She didn't want to go on the trailer. Does have a sickle mower on her. And I've already took the time, heated these up, soaked them down with oil. So hopefully we can pull this intake off because I know we're gonna to have to. It's been sitting open like this for who knows how long. The only hope we have is maybe the rain didn't get down in there as much as it would if it was just wide open. None of this is cracked, so I don't think it held any water unless it ate through the pistons, which it should never slip past them. So hopefully it didn't get much water in it through the years. We're gonna pull the head off of it anyway, I believe. It's gonna have to come off. But we're gonna get to pulling that off. Hopefully this will heat up down here enough to where it'll break free, because 80 years of rust with that, without that being turned doesn't help it none. And the wheels are the wrong ones on the front. It should have steel wheels like the back, but we don't have a set of them. Right here is your little, basically, basically your points for your buzz coil. The fan still spins just smooth as can be. I'm gonna give that torch a minute, then we're gonna come in on this side and try to torch it here. Get that loose and move on to tearing her apart and getting her running. And hopefully we can get her running and doing tractor things. Them bolts came out better than a lot of newer stuff I've messed with. Oh, Lord. Oh, man. Uh, well, there's no moisture in there. That's the good thing, but everything else is. I think she's savable. That's great news. Yeah. That's just dirt. Dirt's not a problem. It's when you get water down in there is the problem. These valves open. This valve's closed. Nope, I can feel the seat. And this valve. Yeah, these, these valves were open. So that is kind of crappy, but this has got some stuff in it. Nothing major. Going to go ahead and clean all this out. We're going to heat on them a little bit. Get as much out as we can. A little bit of vapor rust See, down, down in here. There. Nothing looks terrible. Already went ahead and took that off. Some rust here, some rust there. Nothing like I expected to see with that carburetor being off for who knows how long it was off for. Been sitting for 80 years at least. That carburetor could have been off there 20, well, it was off there at least 40 years. Could have been off there 40 years or 80 years, who knows. Still a bunch of junk in there that's coming loose. You can see all this build up here. She had quite a few hours on her, but Gonna go get grab the torch, heat all this up, soak her down with some oil, and start getting these valves free. So now that we've got all that evapor rust in there, we're just gonna let it set. You, as you can probably see, these valves are stuck because you can see the lifters further down than the valve. We're gonna let that set, then mess with them. We really don't want to break them. Same way with this one. Once that evapor rust sets for a couple hours, it should loosen it up a little bit. And if it's not loose enough by then, we'll wiggle on them, put some heat to them, some more oil to them and get them loose and once we do that we should be good to go also the motor is unstuck now it might not even have been stuck it may have just been some valves in the way but as you can see she turns over smooth as can be she does have a spot where she sticks there i'm assuming that's because of the valves but it will turn past that spot has no compression right now because most of the valves are stuck open so we'll have to work that out get that worked into them and it should be just about ready to go 
This one's, you can see this one's still a little shaky. This one's still doing good. This one's still doing good. 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 Not so much. Go ahead and we tore the head off of this thing, so. As you can see down in here, well, once I turn this flashlight on, these cylinders are, there's no scratching on them. There's hardly any ring ridge. So I assume this thing didn't have many miles on it. Well, hours, I guess you'd say, when it was parked. This one has absolutely no ring ridge. Them are the factory pistons in there. That's a 100-year-old engine. There's no pitting in it. I mean, got to say they did a good job making this and somehow water stayed out of it all these years. There was some junk in here, like wasp nest, and there was some lizards and stuff. But, you know, nothing terrible. I'd looked down in there and thought I cleaned everything out. Down in here, you can see it's a rat nest central. Like, all the way down in there is rat nest upon rat nest. Going to go ahead, put her back together. We've cleaned her up. We're going to clean a little bit more of this up, clean that head up. But, honestly, it looks real good. We weren't getting good compression out of cylinder one or cylinder two, but three and four had enough to fire, you'd believe. Well, at least you'd think. We're going to put some more of that engine stop leak around the pistons, see what that does, and throw everything back together and hope for the best. I think she'll run now. <clears throat> Hopefully she's going to fire off. We've taken the head off. We've done everything. We've cleaned up the rotor again. And we got the buzz cools where they should be tuned in. And we kind of cheated a little bit. We put some stuff down in there. It may or may not work. It should, but you never know what these are things. If she does start, we've got to keep her wound up pretty high. Keep her running. Whew. Cross your fingers. So we got everything set up again. It's the next day. There's a mess in here. There's oil all over the floor and everything else. We'll clean it up. I took the head back off of the thing and I packed the cylinders full of high tip grease. Hopefully that'll give us just enough compression for this thing to pick up them at least three cylinders or that other one and kick over and run. I have the intake back on it. We have the intake cleaned out. So it should run. And we also went and got three more cans of starter fluid. So if we're lucky. a genius idea or it's a terrible one. I got a ratchet strap on there wrapped around the crankshaft. We're going to try to pull it as fast as we can and hope this thing kicks off. We're giving it a healthy amount of the go-go juice. And if it doesn't kick off, we're going to hook this to the truck. How hard is this going to be? Oh boy. 
This is scary. Let's go back inside. So, it's been probably two weeks since we messed with the tractor. We messed with it for a long time and it wouldn't start. Hopefully, since it's had time to set and think about its actions and not wanting to run, we can just shoot her with some starting fluid. I've also put some stuff down in there that should have maybe helped the rings if that was even the problem. We're just gonna give it that much starting fluid and hope for the best. This may or may not work, but it's worth a shot. Okay. Boy, I don't like doing this. Nope. Okay. Ooh, there we go. That was two. She kicked over twice.
the neighborhood up with this one. Oh, she ain't liking that now. Ah! One, two. I guess I ran her out of fuel. Okay. Maybe not. Must have really ran her out of fuel. Did my rock fall out? No, my rock's still there. Why did she not run? Building's full of smoke right now. She ran pretty good for setting for over 80 years. Know for a fact she set for 80, but she runs fairly good. She does try to run wide open, but that's okay. At least she runs. The smoke coming out of there, like I said earlier, smells terrible. It's from that rat nest being in there, and I couldn't get all of it out. I tried, but we'll probably, well, actually, I told the tractor I would, so we're going to put some wheels on it and get her driving since she ran. But that won't be in this video because she will not move on them wheels and we got to get a better carburetor because we don't want to put her in gear with it running that high up on the idle and we kind of want to throttle but other than that you'll see this video for this truck next thursday you'll see this and this thursday which is tomorrow and on the cuda because a lot of you guys are asking about that it's been a while again it's been like a month on since the cuda video uh we got the parts here so you should see this next week probably on next monday Hopefully, wait, yeah. Hopefully next Monday, ain't promising because it's a lot of work we got to do on it. But we'll get that video out and we're going to do Will It Runs on Thursdays like we've always done and build series on Mondays. And we may throw another video in there if we have the time and can do it. But we'll, we're shooting for at least two videos a week. We got another project over here. The 40 Ford, sadly, we still can't get rings for the motor. We have everything to build this truck. We're going to sandblast the cab and paint it here pretty soon same way with the door for this car I'm gonna get sandblasted and put that door skin on but she's looking a lot better than what she did when she we started and she is kind of a uh, storage building right now and most of the original parts are in here we got i don't know how many parts are in here but that's at least a hundred percent cuda well 80 percent cuda there's a little bit of rust and dirt in there other than that, this project you guys will see, I think you'll like it. It's from, well, I'll just tell you, the Diamond T pickup that we have, the 47, we're gonna use these Super Duty axles. They're F550 axles, they're Spicer axles, S130s. 
They're way too big for that truck, honestly, but I wanted to build something I could pull anything with. And this is two by six square tubing quarter inch wall. It weighs about 250 to 280 pounds of stick. It's heavy. And that's gonna be our frame. That's gonna be our axles. And that's gonna be our front end. These axles are seven inches wider on each side than the ones in that diamond tee, but we'll make them fit. And we got a five nine Cummins we're gonna throw in there. And you know, make it work. But thank you guys for watching. And if you liked, if you liked this type of content, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and maybe sharing, because that was a tough old tractor to get running, and we got a lot more content coming to the channel.